taking away fractions 3. If the second fraction is bigger than the first fraction, then we need to borrow from the whole numbers. 7 and 2 fifths take away 1 and 4 fifths. The first thing I'll notice is that 4 fifths is bigger than 2 fifths. So if I try and take them away, I'll end up with a negative number. So I need to borrow from the whole numbers. 7 and 2 fifths is exactly the same as 6 and 7 fifths. I borrow a whole from the 7, turn it into 5 fifths, 5 fifths and 2 fifths is 7 fifths. Then I write down minus 1 and 4 fifths, that stays exactly the same. Now I can take away as normal. I do the whole numbers, 6 take away 1 is 5. Then I take away the fractions. 7 fifths take away 4 fifths is 3 fifths. 5 and 3 fifths is the final answer. Nine and three sevenths take away four and five sevenths. I notice that five sevenths is bigger than three sevenths. So if I try and take away, I'll end up with a negative number. So I need to do some borrowing. Nine and three sevenths is the same as eight and ten sevenths. I borrow a whole from the nine, turn it into seven sevenths, 7 sevenths and 3 sevenths is 10 sevenths. I write down minus 4 and 5 sevenths as before, and then I take away as normal. First I take away the whole numbers. 8 take away 4 is 4. Then I take away the fractions. 10 sevenths take away 5 sevenths is 5 sevenths. 4 and 5 sevenths is the final answer. Six and 1 eighth take away 4 and 2 eighths. 2 eighths is bigger than 1 eighth, so I'm going to have to borrow. 6 and 1 eighth is exactly the same as 5 and 9 eighths. If I borrow a whole from the 6, it turns into 8 eighths. 8 eighths plus 1 eighth is 9 eighths. Then I continue as before. Take away the whole numbers from the whole numbers. 5 take away 4 is 1. Then I take away the fractions. 9 eighths take away 2 eighths is 7 eighths. 1 and 7 eighths is the final answer. If the second fracture is bigger than the first, then we need to borrow from the whole numbers.